So um, let's look at calling in assignment for today. Um, we did, we did that many times. Was it was it five units, right? Mm. Okay. For the, other lady, the other lady does personal and professional development. Am I right? Yes. The other lady is it not, is it not joining. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Here's a WhatsApp message. I hope she's putting the link. I can't even find her on WhatsApp where this number. I think she sent a message on the group the last time. Yeah, I did. I knew. I knew you sent a message. That's level five group, isn't it? Hmm. So, um, but said, yeah, what have you got it? The, the task one. I hope we are on the same level. You, you guys have all the tasks, assignment tasks, don't you? Sorry? Do you have all the, all the assignment tasks? Do you have it? Um, I'm, I'm trying to log into the system to be sure of that. That's what I was just doing. Yeah. Because I didn't have the module, I just yep. got the module. Later, they said you've done it, you should assess it. Yeah, I can assess it now, but I've not checked if I have the assignment thing. I was just going through the stuff. I think. There should be an assignment brief on it anyway. Yes, yeah, um, I can go through again if you don't have. No, I do. I have a summary. So you should have uh, exactly what I have in there. So you have. Are we good to go? Yes. Okay. Let's go on. Oh. Oh. Ah. oh, okay. Somebody has joined. I think the person has joined. That's her. She just joined. Okay, Mister. Mister, how are you? Mister, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. I hope you have your assignment brief, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it, don't worry. Say it again, please. I'm doing it. Okay. So do you have your assignment brief with you at the moment? Sorry? Your assignment brief. Yes, I have, I have 
have like spoken with one of member from a like university they have told me that uh, they'll help me with no one alliance of friends um you need to have your assignment brief so the assignment for the discussion your assignment do you have it Okay, last said you have yours? Yes, I do. Okay, are we in line? Look at the first task. Is that what you have? Evaluate approaches of self-managed learning and evaluate the benefits of uh, self-managed learning to individuals and organization. Is yes. that what you have? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ms. No, do you have this? Or you are telling you don't have that, do you? So, um, I said, yeah, uh, we did remember the lectures we had on self-managed learning. Yes. Okay. So that should be task one. Should you refer to, should we refer to our lecture notes? You would come to conclusion on how to evaluate the approaches to self-managing -learning, learning. Now, what are some of the things that comes to mind? Placidia, you can refer to the lecture notes if you have it. Mm -hmm. um, the self-managed learning is um, self-managed learning is all about um, how you um, how you as an individual manage your own learning the activities and determining, setting a goal and stuff like that. Um, can you ask the question again? <laughs> because I'm just ranting. I'm so look at the question there. Okay. Evaluate the approaches to self-managed learning. Okay, the approaches to self-managed learning. Okay. Oh, let's refer, let's go back. Just go to our lecture notes, please. You don't need to struggle. Go to your lecture notes. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So self-managed learning being the fact that it's, it's an individual decision oh. that you want to learn and you set your goals and the approach you want to use to do. So the, what you are doing, you are, you, are, you, are, you are explaining, sir, but what are the approaches, evaluate the approaches? You are now telling us a strategy of sending. That is not a question. Okay. The approach is... Can we go back to our lecture notes? Okay. I'm going to the lecture notes now. Okay. Approaches. Okay. How you learn. Yeah. Mentoring research, uh, conferences, interview, learning from the internet, social network, seminars, secondments. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So this is it. So I want, let's have a, the lecture notes there so we can always refer, okay? Okay. Understand. Mm. Okay, so let's look at the the second question is um, evaluate the benefits of self managed learning to the individual and organization. Let's evaluate the benefits of self managed learning to the individual and organization. What is your take? If you guys have, what's your take? The benefits of self management to individuals. Okay. Am I supposed to refer to the lecture notes so I should just say the benefits now? You can refer to the lecture notes if you are not too, too confident. 
Uh, I don't think the benefits are outlined on the lecture notes. Obviously, lecture notes is just to give you fundamentals. Yeah, so but if, if I'm looking directly... at what the benefits will be, the benefits will be improving yourself and uh, maybe advancing in your career or things like that, right? At this stage, we, should not, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't say things like that. We are trying to discuss assignments which will help you. So let's not say things like that. Let's be more factual. Let's, let's get the things okay. so I can help be more you. Factual. Yeah, the benefits would be improving yourself um uh what else go to your lecture notes read read further you don't know all this thing hmm. does self-managed learning help self-assessment and analysis of an individual then you have teamwork communication. Miss No, are you there? Miss No. That's it. There. Have you had time to read at all? No, I've not had time to read this lecture, honestly, because I just got it and I had to redo my managing with communication which i'm just rounding up today so i've not read it okay so evaluate the benefits of self-managed learning yes but now i'm looking at the lecture notes and it's still the same thing as self-assessing yourself and improving your skills and yes yeah so it's a question has two folds one is that to the individual, the other is an organization. So look at it in that perspective and give a better answer. Oh, okay. So the individual will be improving yourself, then to the organization will be the organization assessing the quality of individuals they have in their organization, uh, improving teamwork, improving communication. Okay, um, so I'll put you something below it. Can we, can we read it? Mm -hmm. So your log must be organized and laid out in sessions. Okay, the first session must include an evaluation of the various approaches, okay? Now, anytime you see the word evaluate, what does, what does it mean? To explain. Into detail. Yeah. Okay, so the word evaluate is not, not just bullet bullet points, okay? Yeah. You have to convince, you have to evaluate. So you have to explain in data, not just explanation, but evaluating in your own perspective what are the approaches to self-managing and then evaluate the benefits, okay? Mm. So the first session must include an evaluation of various approaches to self-managing learning. There should be a balanced evaluation of the benefits which must cover both individuals and organizations, okay? Okay. So two things here, both individuals and organizations. Okay. So what would organizations gain if somebody does a self-study learning? What would they gain? What, would, what, what benefit would it be to, them, to an organization or a company? You understand? This is how you have to look at things from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. So you have to evaluate and look at those various approaches in your self study learning. And you have to balance it and ensure that it covers both the individual and the organization. All right? Okay. You want me to share the, the lecture or it's not important? No, I have the lecture. I'm making notes. And make sure that we know our font size is always not 12, isn't it? Yes. Oh.
And then whilst you are doing it, let's not forget about our references. Okay. Yes. You don't forget about our references. You're going to get various um, experts who have said certain things relative to sub management. That so when you quote them, we need to include them in our references. Very important. Okay. Okay. Have you crack on? Mm. Okay. Let's look at that too. Let's say that. What do you have there? It says evaluate your own self competency against professional standards and organization objectives. Hmm. Keep reading. Keep reading. That's that's the question. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there are other questions, not only one. Okay, identify your own development needs and the activity required to be met. To, uh, to meet them, sorry. Devise a personal and professional development plan with a clear aim and objective and time scale based on the identified needs. Discuss the process and activities required to, required to implement the developmental plan, including effective time management strategies. That's the question. Can you hear me? Are you okay? Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. So I've read it, then... So let's take it one by one. Mm. So if the word again... Evaluate. So before that, I've said something. Say so before completing your second session of the of your assignment, you must carry out some research relating to the rural and industry sector. Okay, mm. where you are interested in progressing your career. Okay, mm. this research will provide information on likely professional standards which you can benchmark yourself against and the organization objectives of the business. You must state this in your log, using this information, okay? So in your assignments. One, evaluate your own current skills and competences against professional standards and organizational objectives, okay? Is that another question that you have? What question do you have from your side? Mm -hmm. Evaluate your own current skills and competency against... Is that the same thing you have? London, yeah. You have the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So evaluate your own current skills and competence against professional standards and organization, organizational objectives. So, yes. So in evaluating your own current skills, you look at your strength, isn't it? Yeah. And your weaknesses, isn't it? Yeah. So if you have skills, then let's look at your strength. And your competences against the professional standards and organizational objectives. So the strengths you have is it in line with what the company would expect or the company objectives? If the company says that they have an objective of uh, becoming the best marketing company in the sub region, okay. Mm. Your current skills is it in line, okay? Is it in line? And do you have what it takes? Have you got is it a degree in marketing? Do you have the skills? Have you done a degree? Have you done some courses in marketing? Is it relevant? Have you gotten some experience? You know, so these are things you look at your what we call your core competences, not your negatives, look at your positive. So you have to evaluate those skills if has a resemblance to the general organizational objectives. All right? Is there okay. anything more, anything you want to say? No. Mm. Do you want, uh, the first question I have to 
check my strength, my weaknesses, my competences, the qualifications in line with the standards of the position which I wish to attain. Yes. So if then you, you identify your organization, work career, work career uh, progression, you, you are interested, you understand. So the company has um, that you want to have a marketing. Obviously, once they want to be the best marketing company, they're the only good marketers, aren't they? Yeah. Exactly. So that may be your career progression. It may be healthcare. They want to be the best care agency. Uh, in domestic library care or supported living. So, do you have the relevant skills in those supported living? Okay. Yeah. Have you gotten a level three qualification? Currently, current skills, but then you might need a level five, isn't it? If you want to become one of the managers or or the registered managers, okay. Am I making some points? Yeah. Exactly. So evaluate your own skills. What do you have at present? Are the skills enough sufficient for the company objectives or would you need to build on? Okay. So that's the next question. Identify your own development needs and the activities required to. So having identified your strength, then you know your, your needs as well, won't you? Yeah. Uh, so once you've You've identified your own skills. Out of the skills, you know what you are strong in and what you are less strong in. It may not be a weakness. It may not be a deficiency, but you may have less strength maybe in, in presentation, marketing, but you cannot have, you're not too good in preparing your own PowerPoint presentations and all that. So that is a need then. So identify your own development needs and the activities required to meet them. So having identified your needs, then what measures are you putting in there to meet those needs? You have to go for PowerPoint presentation lectures or get a mentor within the organization to mentor you, you know, and all that. Those are the needs that you have seen that needs to be developed. Okay, then let's look at, you have to devise a personal and professional development plan with clear aims and objectives and time skills based on identifying needs. Okay, so you have to devise a personal, that's a PDS, a personal and professional development, PD, PD, right? Plan. We remember the plan, we remember the PDS plan, we remember the templates. Yeah, the one and with the 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 things you want to do, then exactly, you have the time exactly, duration. Exactly. And... That, that's that's what you are referring to. Okay? Yeah. A plan with clear aims and objectives and time skills based on your identified needs. Okay, so you then have a plan in place, you have your booklet or your template, and then you say, This is what I want to do, this is what I have at the moment, these are the skills I have. This is what I need to build on. You allocate a time, you remember? Yes. Look at a time and a date of completion. That is what you are talking about. So objectives and your time skills based on your identified needs. And then lastly, discuss the processes and activities required to implement the development plan, including effective time management strategies. Okay, if you go back to our lectures, you are going to see time management strategies. It is there. Time and one of them is smart, different, different, reflective, my and all that. So they are all time and may say different. So discuss the process and activities required to implement the development plan, including the time management here. So what are some of the processes or activities that you have to undertake? You know, having a mentor, having a coach, isn't it? Mm. All this processes and activities. If you go there, you see there are different, different ones that you could take on to help you achieve those, um, uh, what do you call those uh, development plan, okay? Mm. So I've said, stated here, there must be a clear statement of the standard use for the evaluation and business objectives. The evaluation of own skills and competencies must be specific and related to the standards and objectives. 
the development needs must show a link with the above evaluation and the activities required to meet them. The plan what should be clearly... Mean? I can't see that. Oh, can you not see it? No. You cannot see the screen. No. Oh, your screen. Right. I not see the screen. Where, where do you have this written? It's not in mine. No, yeah, of course, I've added it to it. These are some discussions, so I'm I've oh, made it oh, for you right. to help you, yeah, to help you, okay? Mm. So it's not everything that you see there. I've added things to it to help you, okay? Okay. So let me read again. It says, there must be clear statement of the standard used for the evaluation and business objectives. The evaluation of own skills and competencies must be specific and related to the standards and objectives. The development needs must show a link with the above evaluation and the objectives required to meet them. The plan should be clearly set out with relevant sessions and linked to the needs. The learner must show an understanding of the processes and activities required to implement the plan, including effective time, which I've mentioned already, okay? So you have to prove to us that you understand the processes. Can we go to our lecture and look at some of the processes, please? That's it. Okay. Okay, said so, um, identify your own needs and activity required to meet them. Would that be the SWOT analysis and continuous review process? But, uh, how many have you mentioned? Say it again. I said the SWOT analysis, you said, it says conduct the SWOT analysis, then it says uh, a continuous review process. Mm -hmm. I... Reflect. Is that, is that all? Is that all you know? There are a lot of them. This, this screen is so... Reflection and review. Exactly. exactly. Action and identifying the identify or identify needs then plan yeah so continuous review process will be identify plan action reflect and review those are the ones you've identified isn't it yeah Is that all? Yes. Okay. Miss Nu, is she there at all? Eh? Miss Nu, is she there? Hello? Hello, Miss Nu? Nu Akta, are you there?
And now, hold on, I want to check. I want to check. The woman is not responding, I don't know. It's okay. Let's proceed. It's not responding, so let's proceed. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that's why I can't respond. All right. Um, Classe, are we okay? Are we good to proceed? Yes, I understand. Are you sure? that, uh, identify your own development needs and activities required to meet them. So, and that's uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go to task three. What do you have on your side, Yasamin? It says you undertake have? and document the development activities as planned. Mm -hmm. Is that all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are more questions. Reflect, Is that all? reflect critically on your own learning against the original aim and objective. Setting the development plan, evaluate the time management strategies used, update and update the development plan based on feedback and evaluation. Okay. So, okay. So let's go. Understand it and doc and document the development activities as planned. So normally you have down your plan template. You can all do have that. I use your PDP plan to know your development activities as planned. Okay. Yeah. Understand and document the development activities as planned, the very self learning activities that you have planned. You have to undertake and document it. So, as you are proceeding, you have to document them what has been achieved, what has not been achieved. You understand? Okay. So, that first question is like a chart. Or like yeah. a continuation of the one in 2.3. Yeah, yes, you have to have, yes. You need to have a detailed record of your progress against your plan, okay? Okay. You have, you have a plan, but there should be a record of the process, which is part of the project, your progress. Are you getting me? Uh, your plan is to become the next best marketing officer in your company in the next one year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you have processes that you have laid down that you use that you can but then within the plan the processes you have to know your progress are you having progress or are you retrogression are you getting me okay so you should be able to understand and the document the development activities as planned document them all those you are courses they are doing short courses or whatever you are doing it should be documented. You remember the portfolio? Yes. Yes. So this is going to your portfolio. So in your portfolio, you have a file that has all your learning, all your learning progress. To know that are you beyond time or are you ahead of time? Are you having progress or you're not? Probably market is not good for you. Okay. That, that's the portfolio I created, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So you have a portfolio and you have all your progress will be on. All your progress will be on. 
okay mm -hmm. then reflect critically on your own learning against the original aims and objectives set in a development plan so your development plan is there but then you have to reflect critically on your own learning against the original aim just like the plan the aims and your objective set in your development plan so you said that beginning of the year i'm going to marry isn't it mm -hmm. your plan is i'm going to the aim you have a plan you have the aim mm -hmm. your plan is that i plan that but by the end of this year my plan is that i'm going to marry okay mm -hmm. so what you aim at then is your plan so then you aim your original aim An objective set in your development plan. So I aim to become um, a virtuous wife or to become um, the best wife for a man that I, I intend to marry. What then become your own learning? What are the things that you have to do? You know, learn how to to talk well, let it cook, you have to be cook. So the things that men need in women, okay? A virtuous woman, you know. So he says, reflect critically on your own learning skills, your learning against the original aim and objective set up in your development plan. So because you are the one who set up your plan, isn't it? Mm. So you set up that you want to, and your aim is that you want to marry end of the year. It is in your plan. You want to buy a car plan you want to buy this thing you want to have a degree so all is part of your development plan and your aim is that you achieve this within one year isn't it mm. so between the aim and your plan the objective that said you need to have critically reflect on your learning against the original aims and objectives set in your development plan. so you have to see there's a balance mm when you're learning against your original aim that what you seek to have achieved is there any balance okay that's a in am i making some points yes okay so this is going to be a right top yeah yeah then you should have something so you see just go to task. Let's go to task three. Go to your lecture notes on task three. Okay. And then you can get more understanding. Okay. Discuss the process and actually try to implement your plan. Okay. So you have um, time planning, consideration, organizing, fund, availability of fund, practical issues, study skills. Is that the one? Yes, that's um, 3.2. 3. Is that what you have? No, 3.1. That's discuss the process and activities required to implement. No, no, not, not not the assignment lecture notes lecture and that's notes. lecture notes yeah okay how okay. can we do that huh? undertake the document Undertake and document development activities as planned. So no, 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 no. Take it that, that is the assignments we are doing. The raw lecture notes we, we discuss. Okay, documenting processes, progress. Exactly. Sorry, documenting exactly. progress, evidence, suitable evidence of formal, informal on the job learning, then portfolio building, how to put portfolio meaning meeting evidence requirements, CV transcripts. Then you have review questions, 
why is it important to create a care plan, a career plan? What are some of the factors that must be considered when doing a career plan? Perfect. Just... Okay. So with this, you, you realize your plan and then the factors, okay? Go ahead. Then discuss any of the method identified. Are you there? Yeah, then you are more confident about constructing a development plan. So, yeah, so the factors will still be things like um, the time and maybe availability of fund, right? Then there's things you need to consider when creating your plan, isn't it? Right. Then now says, what's the question again? And okay, let me go, go be, okay. So below beneath the um that's three. I've just I said there must be I've put something there. I said there must be detailed record of application of the plan with a critical and incessive insist, insist, reflection of the learning achieved. In addition, there must be an evaluation of the time management strategies used. The learner must show that feedback and evaluation has been obtained and how this has been used to develop the plan. So first, the first question was to undertake and, and document the development activities as planned. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. when you're reading your lecture, what did you have them from beginning? That's at the beginning of the, the, the 3.1. All right, let me go back up. 3.1, you have implementing developmental plan, development plans. Right? Yes, of course. Yeah. So the in order to develop in order to implement development plans, you need to consider uh, you have time planning consideration of what forms what forms of training you need to undertake, then organizing and undertaking activities, availability of funds, practical issues, and study skills. Mm -hmm. So when is when a question says undertake and document the development activities as planned. Mm. Okay. As planned. So wherever you are planned, you should be able to document them. The activities as planned. Undertake and document the developed activities as planned. So it's all about able to keep detailed record of your progress against your plan. Okay. Okay. So, so it, is it? Am I going? <laughs> so it will still be the. How do you keep the, the record of it? Like, okay, for example, this course now, you'll be like, okay, I'm <laughs> up to. I've done five learning outcomes, as at May. Is it something like that? Yes. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so you ought to have. So your your development plan is about your development, your learning development. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So in your learning development, there's a plan that you achieve. Isn't it? Yes. There's a plan that you aim to achieve. So that plan that you aim to achieve, you ought to have gotten some learning processes or learning records that you would have done along the line in achieving those plans. Those are the ones we're talking about. You, you should be able to document them. And as I gave you an example, like your portfolio. Okay. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Now, so what's what's confusing me is, you know, it's it seems like so if I'm documenting the activities, I'm supposed mm -hmm. to all the plans, okay. I you I've listed about five, six courses that I'm supposed to do. I've put the duration. This is how long it's going to take. This is where I am, right? Exactly. Then, exactly. 
you now say document the activities. So I don't know, that's the activities already, isn't it? Yes, so yes, so exactly. So undertake and document the development activities as planned. Undertake and document them. So as your progress, exactly what you have said, your progress, it needs to be documented. Okay. So is it From like I, I now need to say every Thursday and Friday I attend classes, one hour class? Is that yeah, so yes. So every okay, let's give example time. Okay, so let, let me give an example. When, when when you want to build a house, okay. okay, we first have a plan, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we draw a house. We we'll have a plan of. You even actualize them, in your mind, and then you have a plan of drawings. So the plan, but the aim, our aim will be that we want to build a three bed house, isn't it? Even though you have a plan, but you aim to build a three bed house out of the plan that you have. But in the process of building, even though you have an aim, you would also have the development stages, wouldn't you? Yes. Are we there? So we are saying that the, those development stages it needs to be documented. So from this stage, yeah, what's the plan? We are building a three-bed house. My first floor. Are you there? I said, yeah, there's a lot of noise where you are. Me? I don't know where I am. I'm alone. I can hear the noise, but it's not me. Is that a lady? So, Karim, I can hear you. I said I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Are you sure it's not you? I'm going to meet you at all. I said, I can hear you now. I said, I can hear you. Oh, I can hear you. You okay. muted me. Okay, have you unmute yourself? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I was meeting the other lady and I'll meet you, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that if you go to the lecture notes, okay, mm -hmm. it, it covers all this. Method. So first of all, undertake and document development activities as planned. Two, reflect critically on your own learning against the original aims and objectives set up in the development plan. So first of all, you must have a development plan, yes or no? Yes. And now we've got development activities. Do you get it? Mm. Do you get it? Mm. So you have a development plan. The first person is talking about your development your development activities as planned. You're so whispering. Plan. Why are you whispering? Me. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're whispering. I can't hear you again. It's low. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Is it better now? Yes. I'm saying, first of all, you need to have a development plan. Yes. You so my, my development plan outlines the things I want to achieve and the duration I'm supposed to take to achieve them. Yeah? Correct. Hello? Hello? Correct, correct, correct. Okay, good. So I, what I don't understand is how do I differentiate that from this one? Which one? From which one? From this one, your accent, the activities one. 
Which which is it? Yeah. Uh, eh? Is it the first one? No, the first one. I'm supposed to do a development plan. So I've outlined the things I want to do. I've researched. I want to be a manager. I've researched all the things, all the courses, all the requirements needed. I've outlined them and I've stated the dates and the duration that it will take me to achieve them. So that's my development plan. I've also done the, the other one that I'm supposed to say where I am right now and how long it to take me to get to the initial to the plan then there's now this question that says the um this one we're dealing with which is uh, critically critically um reflect critically on your <coughs> own learning against original aims and objective so you said against that first plan I've created, I should now put in activities in the chart, which means I'm going to extend the table, isn't it? Then write out the activities I'm undertaking currently. That's how I understand it. For which, for, for which question? For which one? The question we're dealing with, number three. Tax three. Yes, it did evaluate the management or what? Not yeah, evaluate three, the one that says critically, no, um, evaluate time management strategies. Uh -huh. No, not that one. Which uh, time management strategies. You said I should go to the time management topic and look at how to uh, evaluate, uh, how to uh, and read about time management strategies. The one I'm talking about is writing about aims and objective, uh, reflect critically on your own learning against the original aims and objective in the development of plan. Yes, so, so, uh, so my explanation is that once you have your development activities, you have to critically evaluate you have, you have your plan and you have your activities in achieving those plan. But then, in those plans, in those development activities, you ought to be able to critically reflect on those activities, learning activities that you have developed, whether they are meeting up with your original aims and objectives. Okay? Mm. Do you understand? Okay. So the word is critically. Reflect critically. Okay? Reflect critically. If or if your own learning against the original aims that you have set up in your plan. Okay. If you still not understand it, let me take it again. Yes. So now I'm going to do a write up and say I have planned to do a particular course, which is supposed to have taken me six months. I have uh, now spent so, so number of months. I think I am on course, and I feel I've, I feel I am going to be able to finish within the stipulated time. Is that that's what I'm thinking? You're asking me to do. Exactly. Yes, you know what I meant. Yes, you know what I meant. I don't know what's happening. Yes. Okay, that's it. Yeah. 
Yes, I'll repeat your question again, please. Hello. Yes. So yes. when I'm looking at the lecture notes, yes, that same review and updating your management plan. So it has learning requirement uh, requirements and actionable. So based on SWOT analysis, you have the things you want to do. You have the process you aim to use to do it, if it's mentoring or learning a course online or something. Then you have the duration. Then you have the deadline. But it, it does this critically. So it means that I have to explain that um, based on this information, I feel I'm going to be able to meet up or I feel I'm not going to be Thank able you. to meet up. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Okay. So I understand it now. Because you are reflecting now, you understand? Yeah. Oh, in other words, you are cross-examining. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. So the next one is evaluate the time management strategies used. Um, yes. Have you gone to, can we go to the lecture notes and look at the time management? It's not on that lecture note. I don't know if the lecture note is on time management strategies. Okay, time management. So prioritizing work, taking account of availability of orders, taking account of resources required, setting work objective, meeting objective, sharing workload and delegating. Is that it? Yes. yes. Okay. So, So okay. I have to explain these factors and um, of how it relates to the work I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one is update the development plan based, based on, on feedback, feedback and evaluation. So don't forget that this development plan in the example, okay, let me give a one simple example is like a project work. Mm or and dissertation we know in project work and dissertation or even if, you, if even if you're having a mentorship or placements let's put it down in like placements project work or placements you know everything you do you have, you'll be having reflection evaluation along the line what you are doing you have a portfolio and you also have feedbacks feedback can be your manager can be your this my coordinator can be your mentor, okay? Mm. So that helps you in your updating your development plan based on the feedback and evaluation you are having. The same way project work before, if you are doing your project work, your advisor is the one who tells you whether you are on track or not, okay? Your supervisor always tell you that change this, this is not meeting up the objective that you have chosen yourself. Are you right? Mm. Uh, so your supervisor they all give you feedback. So everything you submit, they will put some red marks, keep it feedback to make sure that what you are doing is in alignment to your um objective that you are choosing on your plan. Okay. Mm. And that helps you in your updating. So you say update the development plan based on feedback and evaluation that's done. So the feedback is what you get from your um friends and lectures, it can be your peers and all that. So there's something also on the natural list on that. So that is how come you can do your update. Okay? How come I can do my... The update of your development plan based on feedback. I'm saying that mm. we, we, we gather updates from different, it could be your manager, 
to be your mentor. Okay. Yeah. So do I do the feedback like you know the one we did for communication? What was it? How, what, what do we do with communication? How do we do it? Yeah, where you say do like a feedback, communication, audit feedback, that kind of thing, where you ask people what do they think about your communication and all yes. that. Yeah, yeah, of course, those are questions, but I'm saying that those are questions, but I'm saying mm. that according to what is in your plan, because if it is your, if it is an organization that you're working with, and they're putting you on on your own lovely or your own self learning development plan. You mm. ought to be you ought to have your manager or somebody who'll be giving you feedback on what you are doing. Okay. Yeah. So those are the feedbacks that you have to do that in updating your learning development plan. Okay. Okay. You understand? Me? So yes. so if it's an organization that you are working with and they are putting you on a on a course or a program normally. Okay, companies, um, or nurses, NHS, or whatever. Even if you're an apprentice, you always have a mentor, okay? Mm. That keeps you on track. They update you. Up. So those ones are the same. Those are the things used in updating the development plan. It depends on what you're going to choose. Okay? Yeah. You see, update the development plan based on feedback and your own the evaluation that you have been doing. Mm. Uh -huh. So the feedbacks will be what you you've been gathering from your previous um, mentors and um, even your peers. Okay, it is in your in, in your lecture notes. Even your peers can give you feedback or critique. Okay, mm. your colleagues. Here. So those those are all that you, you factor in your updating your development plan. Okay, as again your objectives. Mm. So look at it. I said, Lelena must show that what feedback and evaluation has been obtained and how it has been used to develop the plan. Can you see that? Yeah. Hmm? Are we there? Yes, I'm with you. So you want to know your understanding on how to show feedback and evaluation of has been obtained and how this has helped you or you have used that to develop your plan. So we want to see that you have all those components in your development plan. That your feedback that you get from your mentor, from your mentor, your manager, your friends, your peers, the feedback they give to you, you've all used that in obtaining a very detailed um, development plan. Okay, we want to see all that. Okay. What feedback did you get? What did your friends say? What feedback oh they say? Um and the feedback you got from maybe your presentation or something against you. Your personal care or whatever wasn't too good, and if there was a feedback given to you that you wanted to work on your communication skills or something, you know what I mean? Pertaining to, so you, you are the more practical, you are the one going to choose your development plan. So the feedbacks you get should be something in line with your development plan and your, you know, and your learning and um, objectives. Okay. Are you on track or not? Yes. Are we sure? Yes. I'm on track. Let's look at what's wrong. What do you have from your assignments? Back. Okay. What do you have? Okay. Four is... um. Using the information provided below, you should set solutions to these typical work-based problems. The conflict has developed at a personal level between members of a team which are delivering an important project for the business. A manager is concerned about the poor time keeping of a junior manager who is directly who directly reports to her. This is both arrival times and the delivery of completion of work. This, there are poor liaison between front desk and back office of the, of the organization. And this is leading to poor customer service with building, billing and customer complaint. 
So this are supposed to be like a a like like a scenario. Sorry, I'm using. So you should set solutions to this typical work based problem. Okay, so it's a scenario. I'm expected to provide solutions to the scenario problems in the scenario. And there are one, two, three scenarios. That's the first question. Mm -hmm. Then the second one says, using the information provided below, you should develop communication in the appropriate style and manner. Also, scenario one, a manager has received an email from customer complaining that the goods receipts are damaged. This was discovered by the customer after the delivery van departed. Scenario two, uh, a manager wishes to inform her team about the about a training day for them, which uh, details all the relevant information. Scenario three, manager wishes to make a formal presentation for the introduction of a section on personal development planning. Hmm. Okay. In the law, you, sh you wish to demonstrate some of the interpersonal and transferable skills you have acquired. Okay. This is a self explanatory, isn't it? Yeah. Somehow. It, it's it just it's a, the others, I'm supposed to just write out solutions on what the manager is expected to do. Okay. But this one that says, a manager wishes to make a formal presentation for the introduction of a session <coughs> of personal development planning. That sounds like a PowerPoint. Oh, it can be a word as well. Doesn't it be a PowerPoint? You can have it in word as well. Presentation can be a word or PowerPoint. See? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. A manager wishes to make a formal presentation for the introduction to a session. Of personal development planning it doesn't need to be in powerpoint if you can be powerpoint that's fine but it can also be in okay okay presentation can be with that slow you don't know how you go about it okay you understand yeah a formal presentation somebody maybe do presentation we have a few in bullet point but you do all that's all the talking you know that yeah he just have just one, two, three, four point, but he knows how to. He takes one, he can explain about it. He doesn't need to have a, a lot of the presentation, just two bullet points, but do also the talking. I, am I, are, are we on track? Yes. So, yeah, we should make a formal presentation for the introduction to a session on a personal development. If you go to a lecture, there's a, there's a is a, a form of how to have a presentation. Okay. okay. Let me see. Form of how you got presentation. Last four. Is there something I don't know? Provide management strategies. Meta for bookkeeping. Meta for complaints. Meta for accent information. No verbal communication. Communication issues. Communication issues between development and service issues. Time management in organizations and exhibitions will be problems. No, it's not there. It's not there. On four. Yeah. There are solutions like the, the what you're expected to do on the other scenarios, but not this one. It's not about how to present it. I don't know. Maybe if I read through it, but I don't think it's about, it's not about how to present it. There is how to pr do, present letters and attend to issues. Okay. 
So are we are we good to go on the explanation? Yeah, ex just explain it. Maybe oh, I'll just... the last one, the the presentation one. Yeah, so I'm just um, indicating that to make a formal presentation, obviously a formal presentation can either be in a word format or it could be in a um PowerPoint presentation format. Okay. The mode of presentation doesn't really matter. But the introduction of a session on a personal development planning. In other words, it's that is not the presentation part. The part I'm asking is so I'm supposed to come up with a, a, a uh, like an itinerary or event or something that would impact development on the staffs and as the manager i would be presenting it to them that okay there is a ongoing course and the that we have yep. provided you'll be given access to it and this is the benefits to you so we advise you you undertake these courses within so so and so time yes exactly so okay i understand it Okay. Mm. And then lastly, the past five, we don't really have past five, but just um, 2.1, 2.3. Yeah, about, you know, mm, it says past five. It says in the final section of the blog, you should reflect on the, on all the work completed to date. Propose ways in which lifelong learning in professional and personal contexts could be encouraged. So I have to go and look at benefits of lifelong learning. Then uh, identify development opportunities to meet so current at, and you, future. If you look at this question, it has connection with um, then the assignment 2.1, 2.2, the set of benefits, look at it. Yeah, that's what. So I have to look at benefits of lifelong learning. Benefits. Then identify development opportunities to meet current and future needs. Oh, I did not. If you look at this last question, it says it's related to look at the assignment 1.2 and 2.3. Hmm? Mm. Look at it. The question 1.2 and 2.3. Huh? Okay, I'm there. So 2.1 will be evaluate your own skills and competency. 1.2 and 2.3. One, okay, one, 1. 1.2. Evaluate the benefits of self-managed learning. That's to the individual. Then 2.3 will be... One, two, three. Devise a personal and professional development plan with clear aims and objectives. Yeah. Then go to the question. Identify development opportunities to meet current and future. So I'm going to identify the needs. Okay, I'll give you one hint. So question one. The areas that you should read up. About that will help you is 1.1, 1 1.3. Okay. 1.1, um, 1.3. Those are the areas you have to read that when you answer the question. Okay. Areas you have okay. to read. Assignment 1, tax 1. 1.1, 1 1.3. 1 um, when you come to tax 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.4, 3.2, 3.5, 4.2, 4.3, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.
Okay. That person. Yes. And then. So two pen one, two pen two, two pen four, three pen one or four pen two, and then pass three. Yes, you, you have to read. That will help you to answer the question. Yes. Three point two. Mm -hmm. Three point three. Three point four. And then part of four point three. Four point three part of it. Okay. And and even two and and yes, and then two as well, part of four point three. Okay. That's that's good one. And then that's four. Because you have to read is four point one and four point two. Okay. Four point one, four point two. So the image you have to read, and then that's right. I've already told you. It looks up. Well, yeah, two, that's five. Yes. One. One point two and two point three. Oh, I wrote the wrong thing. One point two and two point three. Okay, got it. Oh, good. I have a lot of notes written down. I don't think I have any questions now. Sure. Yeah, based on what I've written down, I think I should be able to do it. Not the best empty land now, okay? Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Well, I have to make finish other than the last lectures, so talk again. Okay? All right, thank you very much. No, but I'll be starting to support you then. No, very soon. The, develop, the people that are preparing the place are are delaying on completion. Okay. Oh. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I saw you last time. I lost my voice. I couldn't speak to you. Call you. Do you know of any company that um, I have some people looking for a job? Um, choose code with any. Uh, I hope this is your WhatsApp. Let me chat you. Let me chat your WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.